Okay, so we have several LANs, but we need to interconnect them, and perhaps we need to set up some sort of WAN that goes between our different local area networks. So what are some WAN technologies that can help facilitate that? We're gonna cover just a few of the options. We're gonna cover what leased lines are, what MPLS is, VPN, MGRE, and finish it up with SD-WAN. So let's get started. So the diagram that we're going to work with is this uh, company that we have in Australia that has a headquarters in Sydney, and then we have several uh, branch offices across the country. So how do we network these together? We have several LANs that we have in each one of these locations, but how do we create a WAN where all of these are operating together? So if we're wanting to interconnect these, one ideal situation would be to use leased lines. Perhaps we go to our internet service provider or some sort of provider that we can actually rent lines in between our main headquarter and these different offices. A dedicated line that's for us and no one else can use it. This is ideal because we can get some great bandwidth between these locations and we don't have to share that bandwidth with others. The problem is it can be very expensive. So another good option would be multi-protocol label switching or MPLS. MPLS is provided by some sort of communication provider and it is shared lines, so you're sharing it with other customers. But the key difference with this is with regular, you know, if you're sending across uh, a layer three network, what's happening is every single hop along the way, it has to process that packet and send it on to the next hop. MPLS operates a little differently. When it exits your network and, and into uh, your communication provider's network, it gets labeled. And that label then has a specific route that it takes to get to its final destinations. And so what ends up happening is it's a much faster protocol than some of your other type of uh, communication or your other kind of WAN technologies. So MPLS is great for, uh, it's a little more expensive, but it's great for connecting connecting your headquarters sites with your branch offices and getting really fast speeds with it. A real commonly used WAN connection though is a VPN connection. You still pay for a connection, but you're paying for the connection to the internet. And then what you do is you set up some sort of site-to-site -site VPN where this router has a connectivity to this router right here. So on this router, we program it to have this tunnel, which all the tunnel is, is it's just an encryption that happens. So the packets that are going through it get encrypted. But we say that's a tunnel that leads to the other router. So this is a site-to-site -site VPN. And so that, that, those, that packets that are going through there will be encrypted or tunneled across to this other location. Therefore, the key to this is, is that no one in between can view that data because it's encrypted. So that's a virtual private network. The idea behind this, the VPN, our virtual private network, is you're networking these two together and it's virtually private. It's not really private because it's outside uh, and it's transferring uh, across public lines, but it's virtually public because it is encrypted as it traverses across those lines. So that's VPN. It's used because all you need is your internet connection. It's a little bit easier to set up and it's very cost effective. So you're not talking about a big expense here. You're just gonna use your internet connection that you already have. So in this example right here, if we were to set up a VPN, what we do is we, from headquarters, we'd set up a VPN, a separate VPN connection to each one of our sites. So that way we have encrypted traffic across the public internet going to each one of our sites and then therefore we can network all of this together. Then we have multi-point generic routing protocol, or that is little m, big G-R-E. An MGRE is similar to a VPN, where it's going to tunnel our traffic from one point or another. 
the key with this, the, the, the defining difference between this and our VPN is that we're using essentially a the same tunnel. It's going from point to multi-point here from one location out to all of our locations. It's still using a tunneling protocol, but we essentially have an interface that's connecting into our headquarters here, but that interface is then accessing all three of our branch offices in this example right here. So that's MGRE. So the last one we'll take a look at is the SD-WAN. This SD-WAN is software-defined WAN. We've already talked about software-defined networks where you just have software that manages your networks. This is the same type of concept where you already have these established communications to the internet or maybe to these different sites, but then you use software to help manage that traffic. And so a software defined WAN will actually look a little differently depending on what technologies you're using and how you're implementing it. But let me give you an example. So for instance, let's say uh, I've got these this headquarters and I've got a couple branch offices here and each one of these sites I will put in a appliance, a virtual appliance that acts as a gateway that tunnels traffic from one location out to the other locations. So it's a software defined WAN. It's still tunneling that traffic from one location to another. Um, and what can, be, what can be great about this too is you can implement uh, not only shortcuts through your systems uh, to get from one point to another um, and allow that communication to happen better, but you also can set up uh, different things such as uh, you can compress the data. So if you've got similar data that's coming across there, you could do like an 80% compression where you have a fifth of the traffic that's now going across those lines and it's gonna drastically reduce the amount of effort it's gonna take or the amount of bandwidth it's gonna take to get data from your headquarter office out to your other branch locations. Hey, do you like my videos? If you do, please hit that like button because it really helps me out. The other great thing about this is you can securely load things up into the cloud or move things back and forth through the cloud. So you set up another virtual appliance in the cloud and then you have a connectivity out to the cloud that can be secure or compressed as you're getting data out there into the cloud. And so this is a great SD-WAN, software-defined WAN, as a way to set up WAN technology, but through software. The software is what defines that WAN technology. Okay, so WAN technologies. We need to interconnect our headquarters with our branch offices. We have several different ways of doing that with these WAN technologies. This is not a huge long list of all the options that are available. It just gives you an idea of a few of the options. So for instance, leased lines or an MPLS connection that you're going to get through your communication provider. Uh, perhaps it's a VPN that you're setting up and you're sending it across public lines. Uh, perhaps it's an MGRE tunnel where it's going from uh, one point to multi points or an SD or a software defined WAN. These are just some of the ways you can connect your, your different offices together. So these are the WAN technologies. Once again, just a few of the WAN technologies you can use for interconnecting your different sites.